I said, I appreciate you for joining us once again. After the last time that we are here, we are so happy that you, you can find time to join us once again. But most especially, we want to thank the Almighty God who had made it possible for us to be on like all seats again. And I want to appreciate you, those especially who are with us, those who are subscribed to the channel, those who are who has uh, made comment their comment known those who have called us privately who have shut us shattered us privately to let us know what we need to do and uh, to improve on the situation especially on the recording now i want to thank those who are subscribed to the channel complete packaging movie god bless you i want to tell you from deep part of our heart that we love you my name is alagba henry femi i am an olon femi and you're welcome to our second episode, my DL. And I. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome once again to my DL. Just like my wife said the last time, that I want to tell you how do I, Alak Bayeri Femi, knew that she then was then and is now the wife god has such a made for me yes how we got to know that we were the will of god for each, each other. other so like for me there was no straight cuts we um the fact is this we understand that um knowing the will of god for marriage is one thing that has kept so, some people wondering or some people not marrying or it's a big deal yes i think that's how i should put it it's a big deal for so many young and intending couples is this person the will of god how god go, do i know the will of god is you know the, how we god tell me that my daughter my daughter this is your will and for me even the first time you propose because I was, okay let me not go into proposal now because that should be a topic, a topic or on its own the first time he made this intention known to me at that time myself i had some conviction you understand I am a girl, like I said before, that was, at the time, I, I didn't have time for men, I didn't have time for anybody. I just Relationship then? Yes, on my own. So when he came along, he was the least will of God, if there's, there's <laughs> anything like that, he was the least. I understood find that getting married being ready for marriage was far beyond feelings i understood it was far beyond whether or not i love this person but i also knew that there should be an amount of love oh. but for me that time i didn't have like i told <laughs> our pastor friend <laughs> One time he called me that I should come back to Hilaro, he wanted to see me. When I got to his office, Dr. Sunday J. Soshina, when he finished talking all the things he was talking, I said, you see this person, if you dip your hand inside water, and you bring out the water, that drop, eh, that was the analogy I created. He said, that a drop of love I did not have for him. But we've been this years gone by the grace of God because of the conviction I had from God. So I'm going to keep you on suspense on this one and we'll come back to the conviction I have. But I needed to create this preamble. I throw the battle straight to <laughs> him. Yeah, really, I like I said, uh, like I, would, I think what I would like to start with is this. There was no straight court will of God. Now, let that, that, that being as it may. You see, like I said in the last video, you know, I just lost my wife 
and I then we, we I, I was just getting over a very grieving dark period of my life. So and then she came in, she came into my life at the time I I was looking for somebody a vacuum someone to fill the vacuum. Honestly, I'm going to say this thing. This is so funny. I start short then, fitting. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> I start short then, fitting to the to, to like to the description of the the person who just departed. That's one. I say call it because you know when it, when, when she when she when we in course of our interaction, you know the thing she she has this dream for the future. She has something she will, I, I see someone who has a purpose for her life. I saw someone who has a purpose for the family. I saw who has a purpose for okay, um, a purpose for how things should be done. You understand now? And I only say that encourages me as a person. And that's one. And secondly, because you know she, the way she she, she respects herself. And then because I feel like this person too, you know, if you look at it very well, it actually fit into uh, to the person I'm actually looking for. Please do not forget, I've been in relations for a very long time. I'm married for some time. And the person just all of a sudden, the person like, bam, maybe disappear, and I was actually left alone. So there's a need for me to have a continuity project. So I was actually looking for someone like, okay. Like APC, <laughs> APC continuity. <laughs> so like, you know, I just need, I, I need, I need in my life to move on. So I was looking for someone to just, to start like a baton, a big hand over the baton, and then the, the, joy, the race continue. And, and do not forget, everything seemed to be working in that direction after that i told you i didn't i you know i met her on the street anyway i actually met her i i, I saw her uh, from her phone, uh, phone number for my previous uh, family twice no uh, phone so you can show you I, I think you understand what i'm trying to say so those are the things they later I begin to take time to study it but one in all if, if this one goes to all ladies outside there especially if you have a, if you are in relationship with anyone please and uh, please apart from study the person please create time because what a man looks for in relationship, in marriage, is different from what ladies look for. A man actually looks for someone who is going to help him to carry his dream forward. A man will look for also someone who will, who will be an help meet. Not all this, uh, what we have these days too. So I like, I can tell you, she, she actually fits in to that position at that time. I mean, that's, then as, as we begin to interact together, then I begin to pray about certain things. Like he mentioned, just to share that, please, there are times too, of course, I might not, there are times too that I have this, that this thing really be true. You know, I guess, especially, don't forget the issue of the Igbo, was seen if the Igbo Yoruba <laughs> was actually a factor, because I was still doubting, how can I end up marrying an Igbo woman? How do I manage, you know, that kind of stuff? You remember, at that time, I said I had five suitors. And one of the reasons why I wanted my service here to be to be free of man, friend, dates, things was because I felt that I needed to seek the face of God concerning um, all these things. I said one of the reasons, it's not that it was the main reason. The main reason was that I, I just left this relationship that almost led to marriage but it did not because he wasn't the one so i just said okay while i'm busy working on myself and all that i need to pray because i had five grown-up good um somebody's son yes that's the <laughs> word <laughs> somebody's son they were trying to find me. You understand? So, I had to pray. I was praying. I wasn't, I wasn't receiving anything. And while I was praying, I was harsh on, <laughs> I was harsh on all of them. If they called, like, hey, hey, hello? Hey, hey, can you come? I was not just receiving anything. I had two people around me then, Sister Vicky and one other house, Copper, they, they, they will tell me, Sahan, so the way you were receiving, take it easy on men. Just take it easy on men. I just tell them to just leave my room, like, just excuse me and all that. So one day, he was already around then, but I wasn't seeing him like a full option. Or like even a, a half of Sean. Because you remember I told you, after I heard that I was Igbo, 
Ah. I'm sure he, he will vomit everything he ate in fertilizers that day. So, he didn't come for three months. He didn't get, we didn't talk, nothing. So he was, I wasn't even thinking his direction. But, hey, this guy there, eh? the thing was shocking me. I heard, for me, it was express hearing. For so many people, it was a dream. Now I had aunties then. They say eh, they was folly. Because eh, then they say, <laughs> how did you meet? Tell us so that we will know in our spinster's Eve. Why is <laughs> they say eh, they was folly? And I saw he was with umbrella. He was the only one that so, so that's how the Lord spoke to me. Some people while reading the word of God, God speaks to them through the word. And some people have their vice ways. But God spoke to me expressly that I am, this thing I'm about to spill, <laughs> that you are going there for an assignment. Meanwhile, I just left a seminar, I think three day seminar of Mommy Fola Chidume on you finding purpose yourself. So it was digressed to that the man you want to get married to must be doing something that you want to go and compliment. Given the background of Adam tending the garden before Eve was sent to be a helpmate. So, probably all the rhyme, all the stuff was on my head, but I heard it clearly that you are going there for an assignment. It kept coming like that before I like told Munisola, my friend, Kwe Muni, hey, see you, the direction of prayer. Oh, ne, ke, ne, ke, ne. I should go not to Adurag, but I should go and pray very well. That time, she was actually thinking I was telling because of him. I was just telling because I didn't know on whose garden I had an assignment. So I went to pray. In the place of prayer, me, I got my own that not all that glitters <laughs> is gold. Not all that glitters is gold. Ha! I started searching. You see, eh? All those five men I told you, they were glittering ones. That I don't want to. I don't want to be reading their profile. You understand? Because they were just not the ones. Now, I noticed that. In, as in his case, <laughs> not, it was, nothing was glittering. I gave you a vivid description of how I saw him the, the very first day I saw him. I think I should pause here while he continues so that I will not be the only one. Okay. Yeah, I, I think uh, for me, you know, uh, I, I'm going to mention him here. One of the person I consulted when I wanted to get married was Mommy Ayeni, who was supposed to be the uh, FWR. Uh, like, Mommy Ayeni was like, <laughs> uh, was like uh, uh, my mother, like I uh, was like, uh, she's still a mother to me, really. She was the person who I contacted because during those dark periods, Mommy Ayeni took the burden upon herself to pray for me really, to pray and make sure that every time he do, we talk about it, they call, they try to console me. So there's no way I possibly, apart, uh, I could do something like that without actually consulting her. And then, you know, my sister, uh, <laughs> my sister, like, my sister was, uh, she was like, you know, this uh, mother, a mother and a worried mother really. Like, hey, this boy, he's getting, he's getting who do. And uh, the baby that we are looking, baby we, we look forward to, baby has died and, you know, we, all those sort of things. They are, they are, and then they were feeding, feeding my sister with a lot of information about my activities in Abekut, of course. There was no activity. So as I was saying, 
the they were feeling worried. They were, she was worried because of a lot of formation misinformation they were feeling her. So she 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 needed a gang child. At the same time, she needed me to settle down. I'm and don't forward. forget, I've actually relocated from Ilaro to Abekuta. We have relocated <coughs> to Abekuta. So we are in that Abekuta. So eventually, there a lot of things were not really actually going right. So there was a pressure from her. They just want somebody. So eventually, when I mention a name, you know, initially she looked at her. She just said, hey, well, Ibu. Hey, if you have to know, the person you married was from Mekiti. The, the thing didn't really work well. So maybe this one will be better, you know. She and then she said, okay, she will, I told my elder brother to let you alone. Who called? I mean, who keep, kept on praying and all this stuff. So, but those are the people, and then uh, okay. just to she know, then our dear Reverend, Reverend Koleade. Don't forget, okay, let me just say this Reverend Koleade was our district overseer then, and my little one was the secretary before we left Ilaro to her, to, to him. So, there was this bonding that happened. With, that between all my family, so they were all this show. Then Dr. Rai Moloyo and uh, the Boko Lusi, uh, Boko, oh, was, no, no, Boko no. Lusi. Also, there are so many people who are, you know, I'm talking about those who are personally involved in the, they just want this guy to get married back. They want me to move on with life. If it's possible for them, they could have just, maybe the TV was off, they just on it and just wipe out the whole channel. And the TV just, they just want it to start. And I really want to take time to appreciate them. Now, those are the things that was actually happening at that time. When I now called, I told Mama Yen that I want to get married. Mama Yen asked, okay, you know, she has prayed and whatever else. <laughs> where, where, where is she from? And I said, she's from Abi. I said, ah, Ibo, Ibo, look at Do you know them? And Mama Yen, you know, you know, one of the kids, you know, you know, my Mama Yen actually, she's from a kid too. I saw. <laughs> so she's from a kid. You know, ah, hey, Ibo, hey, Ibo, wow. So the bad girl, you know, like I, I was like, almost asking as if she better immunicate bad girl, only Timothy bad girl. You know, that's why I'm calling you to pray on this stuff. And it's okay. She prayed with me and said everything is going to work out well. So and then she tried to encourage me, but do with this <laughs> doubt in her mind. But that's how it is. So eventually, all these responses I got from all these people were positive. That's how I got yeah, to know. By the, those are the things that, like I said, those are the things that I brought together to make me sure. If I especially, Doctor Jesus, you know, if I. She, she does not just to she not said it, it, to me point blank and said this thing cannot fail. He said he, he said if you fail, come and kill me. I said, okay, we just, like, I, if you are, who's gonna kill you? She she was so, she said I'm convinced, I'm convinced more than anything that this one, this is the right person to me. I can I can bet my life with it. So eventually we thought this is because don't forget it's no way I could have possibly have a clear cut vision at that time. Because of, uh, because, of going uh, because I'm going to so I needed people to come around with me. I needed people to at least to assist me and they did very well. <laughs> right. So he was he was not just that speck. You know when you want to he was not just that speck at all and he did not fit in into any so this was God telling me not all the glitters are gold. So I went I went um, to when the word that not all the glitters are gold. I now knew that it was not these other people. Because at least I still had some kind of feelings for all those ones. I knew it was not these other people. And I didn't want to I didn't want to miss out. I didn't want my body to to tell me what it was. So I went to my matron. Mommy Matachi. Can you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mommy yeah, Matachi. So I went to Mommy Matachi and I goes, Mommy, see, I would not love us to pray concerning this. That time, he has not said anything. We had known. So I want you to please note that he has not said anything. You, if you call, just call me. How are you? You know what this commanding call? Don't call me one day. Eh? I want us to go to a uh, first square camp together. Ajebo. I say, ha, I'm busy. I have something to do. I have something to do. Last class, I still made. He did not even know that I will decide to go. I just said, okay, where are you now? That was how I joined him that no, day. No, you no, you asked me to call your mom. To tell your mom that if you want to follow me, I pray that to you call Ajebo. Ajebo camp. Yes. I called your mom. And yes, I yes, it. yes. I think that's, I think I remember. So on telling mommy Matachi, we started praying together. Then mom Matachi 
told me in one prayer sec one of the prayer sections we had that <laughs> um government is distracting me. Sorry, we have our daughter here. It's on the <laughs> it's not doing the recording, you just continue. That we he said the crooked were Oh. It's not a Bible verse. Some matches in the place of prayer told me that there is the broad way and there is the narrow way. And she included that most of the narrow way is also rough. Yes. But that God will go with you through that road that seems rough. Ah! That that was what she received. So I was like, God. You know why the road seems rough? This person hasn't told me anything. One, I was receiving all these things. This person I know lost his wife. This person I know lost his, um, his then daughter. And to me, a young girl that has not married before, that road seems rough. <laughs> rough it seems terrible. so rough. And dangerous <laughs> and terrible, and whatever adjective you want to use to qualify that. Ah. So, I also continued praying um, my prayers. Initially. One day, someone that had not uh, told me anything just said eh, that anybody that will get married to him, he will not, the person will just be. We will not do elaborate wedding. No. He was telling me. So I checked my side whether somebody was sitting and I'm missing me. Hey, me love Bawi or Lord of me. I said, Is it me this one is talking to? I just felt like this one is not for me. Because already, for me, in my head, and in the head of those around me, my church members, my mommy, teacher, association, I hear all of you. <laughs> they are already waiting for the day she will get married. Because you remember when you're she gone. So they were like, ah, so people are waiting to compensate me on the day of my marriage. And my marriage is expected to be one big loud thing. And look at this one, what this one is saying. So that word came to me worry like a worrisome word. Something I was just supposed to just wave away. That I had to take it to the place of prayer. And God was dealing with me and working with me that I should not worry that this crooked path that seemed crooked to me is going to work with me. So I question God. All this one now that I'm talking and you're answering me and all that, this person has no said anything. <laughs> of a truth, it, it wasn't because really, uh, I was saying like, it wasn't that I didn't know, I don't know exactly what, what I'm supposed to do. See, I was actually taking my time too, you know, to, to before I just, I was like, I was worried too because uh, like, okay, Am I doing the right thing? Your son now. And uh, but then another thing is this. I, I was to show whether I was actually ready for marriage at that time. See, I was a lot of factors were just a lot of things were just popping to my mind. Things things were not really straight. But you know, so eventually I wasn't too sure. Then later, I think it was very much later. Okay, I do not forget later. I think I went to school, right? I went to just Yes. Uh, yes. Nah, yeah, nah, yes, nah, yes. Nah, I went to uh, just uh for a sum you know all the stuff so a lot of things uh, uh, happened another period in it then uh, then do no uh, we should not forget that i was still in abekuta too i mean I, I was not concentrated in the office so many things were happening so i i don't really know exactly whether proposing going to marriage is the best option you son i just wish i could then at that time uh, I wish I could just turn back the end of the call. I just feel like I want old thing to come back. I said that I want to move on in life. I, I, I get to understand now. But so, uh, what really helped us, really, 
I, for me, I only really helped me as a person was because of her attitude that time. You know, she 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 see the, who I am, but there was no she didn't discourage me as a person. You understand now? You know, and then one of those things that okay, okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna say this. One of the things that that assisted me <laughs> in taking the decision was our profession. I am into <laughs> video making. And I'm actually into video making and make video. I had someone who studied mass com. I just oh, okay, this thing can work oh. with mass communication. Ah, this thing and this person, if I'm doing so that means she has the certificate where I have the part I have the practical knowledge. So really that really has one of those that assisted me to take that decision as, as soon as I felt I was ready that time. All right. So for me, you've got to know today that God spoke to me in the place of prayer. I understand that there is the will of God, there is the permissive will of God, and there is the perfect will of God. I understood these three kinds of will of God even before this stage, that stage of my life. But what I always wanted was the perfect will of God. And I also had the school of thought that whoever you get married to you can make out the will of god out of that person whatever but in this case i needed a conviction to hold on god because see it's good though if you go for marriage seminars not the jamboree these ones that will we squeeze out the you in you and the placement of God for your life. Those kind of marriage seminars that you would think you were ready for marriage. But when you go for that seminar, you see that you have not scratched it at all. You see, you will understand. They will also tell you that the real marriage is not anything you read in the book. But you will have been prepared for what you want and how you want to add value to that person. Because I understood that I should be found. The Bible says, He that finds a wife, I should be found. I should be findable. So I was trying to find to myself to be findable. Then I was also praying to be the good thing that the man finds. So I was thinking that on my part, that I was doing that well enough. But I now wanted to know. When that storm arises in the marriage, because they keep saying there, there was a storm, what will I hold on to? How will I be able to, to do it? What will my conviction be? So we are doing this video to make someone, whether you married, probably you've forgotten your conviction, this video should be able to make you under god's grace make you remember your conviction or you're not married you're watching this video in the place of prayer know the way god talks to you god could talk to you through dreams through vision through word of prophecy the word what can come from your pastors, pastors friends, your, friends your I spiritual know. parents you understand you use places the list places, but everything you hear must be in conformity with what is God telling you by time. So, in the times of challenges, when we have challenges, when we have, I hold on God. I did my day, Jeje. You told me that I was going there for an assignment. And Talking about assignment. One of the assignments which I knew my wife came to do, and honestly, we will not talk about this time around. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So we will talk about this one next time. So for me, I want to thank you for joining us again, for the time to join us once again on this particular episode, which has to do with our conviction. Our now, I know we knew it, that yes. we were the will of God for each other. On our next episode, we'll be talking of how he spilled it home. 
nowadays if they don't create a scene um, on the main road or on a movie train to give will you marry me the girls will not <laughs> will not accept but you want to know how he proposed and you want to know how i accepted and what happened after and what happened after, after? Honestly, that one, you really want to listen to it. All right, now, if you watch up to now and you have not subscribed, I don't know. Uh -uh. I think you should do that. Uh -uh. Uh, you should do it. Subs uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe now. Just click no. button like this. It's red, like like yeah. this. Yes, I'm red just like, like mm, Come. My body and uh -huh. the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank Come. And your face and your head and everywhere. Subscribe, yeah, subscribe eh? And... Keep engaging us with your likes, your comments, your calls. Some of you will come and call. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. But before I go, before I wanna, me, I want to give a shout out to Covenant. A lot of who's actually on she's the, been the producer. The star, the star, the star. She's not just behind the camera. Telling she, us. She's telling us by the cuts. Time, we were, uh, Your time, time and time. all that. And she asked one big question. Mommy, what is what is what did you say? Okay, what is a uh, proposal? Because you Not proposal. Uh, 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 Conviction a bit. No. Uh, she asked what is in English now? Spa no. I had five and I said I had five. Sutos. What is sutos? Sutos. Yes. So she asked a question. What is sutos? I didn't tell her sutos is one candy. I told her the real thing. What sutos was. So Covenant, we thank you for for, for finding uh, time time <laughs> to produce these yes. two people. Thank you. We love you. Bye. Bye. Till we see you next time. God bless you. Bye.